Hello, everybody. Welcome back from our hiatus with Marie back. Um, yep, how, yep, she had fun. <laughs> Today we are doing the Lost World. Yep, or the Jurassic Lost World. World. I'll be over here if you need me. Not to be confused with Jurassic Park, the yeah. Lost World. Uh, I, yeah. We are doing Jurassic World. Yep. Which ignore is me. Jurassic ignore Park me. 4, if we're counting. <laughs> yep, ignore me. Uh, I fucked that up. So yeah. Um this this is I don't really have a lot of stories about this movie because I really wasn't I didn't really look into it when it was coming out. But it's I don't know. This movie's kind of a a mess almost. It's not horrible. I mean it's certainly better than two. Yeah. You, do you think this is worse than two? No, it's not worse than two. Two okay. was really bad. I'm just yeah, two, was, two was absolutely bad. Two was really bad. Yeah. This one makes... Yeah, it makes cinematic sense, but Trevor Trevorrow, who's the director, I, I feel like he's kind of going like, oh, I can do that. Oh, Steven Spielberg, I can do these long shots. It's like he's trying to ape Steven Spielberg and he just doesn't do it right. And I mean, there are a couple times where I feel like he's doing that with other directors. Like, you know, he'd go, oh, Sammy can do a horror movie. Well, I can do better. And there, and he just does, and it doesn't work. So, I mean, like I said, it's not a horrible movie, but it is not cinematic gold. <laughs> All right. So let's just be real. Um, I do remember when I first saw it, I enjoyed it a lot, but... As like I said, as, as I've you know, as this age has just been fridge logic, and the more I've thought about it, the worse it's gotten. So, yeah. So, uh, because we are they're watching this online, and I'm watching this on DVD, we will we have to you know find this place to sync up like we did on the other ones. I'm currently ten seconds in. The U is just coming around the planet Earth. So, if anybody wants to get theirs synced up to us, they can. Um, any final thoughts before we go into it? I liked playing the Lego Dimensions version of this movie. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yep. So, well, go ahead and get into this. And everybody, like I said, pull it up however you want to play. And in three, two, one, play. Oh, that sucks. Well, did you, are you playing or what? No, it's playing. Okay. We might be a second behind you. Okay. I see Universal Comcast Company. You should be right on there. Pretty close. Now, we're a second behind you. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, we're good. A second. And now it's E.T. Mm-hmm. And now it's another logo. Oh, my God. How many logos do Lions. we have? Uh, I don't remember what this one is. Um, I think it's Lionsgate. I think you Legendary. Right. Legendary. Oh, okay, is. sure. Begin with an L. We were close. Yeah. So, uh, no, 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 no. And here is here we get our first kind of like, oh, the egg hatching gambling. Uh, it's like, um, That's I understand what he's going for, but I don't think it really works considering. Because, I mean, he's going for, look at this monster that we've created. You know, it's like the baby monster as we've created it. But it, just, it doesn't feel like it really works. Is that what's going on? Is this yeah, so that's, what he's try, that's what he's trying. That's what he's trying to do. He's I feel trying like, to like I'm at the beginning of Titanic when they have the thing going down to look for the ship. I, mm -hmm. Is that not what we're watching that's right a, now? That's a little bit like what he's trying to do. Remember, like I said, he, a lot of this movie is like he's trying to be like, oh, like oh, Children of Men or oh, Titanic. I can do that too, and that's what a, a lot of what he does here. Yeah. And that's like yeah, I said, this is. Look, yeah, only James then, then Cameron died. can get a movie studio to pay for a legit <laughs> dive to the actual Titanic just for footage. Yeah. Although that, well, I mean, here's the thing. He didn't just dive to the Titanic to get actual footage. They put lights on the actual Titanic for footage. They It was insane the amount of stuff James they did Cameron at Titanic. Yeah. Uh, and here, oh, the kid... I will say I kind I I do kind of like how it's like there's a snow the bird lands in and then it's like pulls back and it's like you know it's just a bird it's not a dinosaur but this kid I don't know 
Are we watching the same movie? Did you yeah, put on the right one? You see, kid? Where movie? You put on the second one. No. Are you sure? Oh. Hold on. What do you see right now? Do the submarine. Hold on. I, we're not watching the right one. We are totally watching the second one. Exactly. We were what? accidentally watching the sequel. Give us a second. <laughs> I am rewinding. <laughs> Roll the boat, everybody. We have a problem. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how the second oh one. Oh, my God. Because I Whoopi. remember complaining about them opening up the gate and letting out the Megalodon. <laughs> So you're playing the uh right there, it's right there, it's right there. <laughs> okay, we, we found the right one. That's to be fair on the screen it says Jurassic World real big. We didn't even see the subtitle because it's just like the casing cover, you know? Okay. Didn't even All right, notice it. All right, so where oh, are we at? Because we we were we've been I watching just, the submarine this whole time. I, really just I don't know that. how you didn't catch the my comments had nothing to do with what you were saying. Well, you weren't really saying anything yet, though. So I said, like, look, it looks like a submarine. Am I watching Titanic? <laughs> no, a lot of what you were saying, because the because here's the thing. The faint, the same shot you had is, like I said, there's a, look, it's a dinosaur egg. Can you just show me your screen so I can just get caught up here? Where are you at? Okay. What is I, Like I said, here? I literally just hit the rewind, the back chapter button. So I'm at the very, very beginning of the movie now. <laughs> Like with all the logos again and everything? Before that. Before that? Like I said, I'm at zero, zero. Let me, I'll, I'll put play for a second here. Hold well, on. as long as you don't have FBI warnings, that nope, might actually I won't have that. Up. What? I won't have that. All right, then. Yeah, hold uh, on, hold on, hold do. on. Okay, I'm at the exact same spot I was at the beginning. Like I said, the U has just come around the planet. Let's just start it here. All right. So, uh, Three, I cannot believe we did that. Two, All right, one. just hit play, Jacob. Just hit play. Okay. <laughs> There's a whoopsie for everybody. <laughs> okay. That's bad. That's totally my bad. Okay, you see the Universal logo, yes? Universal? Yes. Okay. And now we're on ET. Yep. And now okay. we're on yeah. Legendary. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We're doing, we're pretty good. Okay, cool. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't believe that happened, but anyway, <laughs> I can't get into this movie now. Look, um, if you had seen our screen and how it looked with how we ended up there, it's completely yeah. plausible. <laughs> okay. No, but like I said, a lot of these scenes, like I said, oh, at the beginning is out. a lot of this is no. Cause the reason I thought, the reason I thought, oh, you were talking about um, like this movie, I thought we were saying the same thing, is because this is very much this guy. This is very much Trevor Carrero trying to be like, oh, Titanic, I can do that with the, how he no, opens the movie. I was literally talking about the submarine that was going underwater to check out the dinosaur remains. So yeah, okay, but yeah, now you see that there's actual eggs and monsters. Yes, hatching. Okay. I see the eggs hatching. Okay. Faint whimpering, wow. heartbeats. The subtitles are great right now. Yeah. Mine's, I think I may have accidentally turned my subtitles off, but I don't know. <laughs> Hello, I, the dinosaur peeky through. But yeah, like I said, a lot of this is like, oh, I'm trying to be like other directors. Oh, they can do this stuff. I can do better. And no, we can't. Oh, growling. So my subtitles are on. Wind whistling. Okay, now you see the bird. Like I said, I like this, yes. of like the snow. I was like, bird what footprint. bird and snow? We're still underwater. <laughs> yeah, no. No, but like I said, I like that idea. The problem is they didn't, it's all CGI and this it doesn't sell. Yeah. Oh, you see what I eat up. Yeah, and there's this kid here who's just, I don't know. Annoying. Yeah, thank you. That's That's the only way to say it. It's like there's exactly 36. It's like he's counting every damn thing, and I don't know. It's like it's like you said, he's annoying. Feed the monster under your bed. Okay, that's funny though. Although here, this kid had this other his older brother has a girlfriend. It's like, oh, you gotta text me every blah 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 blah. So I just want everybody to remember that as we get into the movie. 
Also, why did she come all the way over just to say bye to him in person? I don't know about you. Well, my family always leaves for like vacations so early in the morning that like I say bye to my boyfriend like the day or two before. I'm like, yeah, I'll see you in a week. I I generally like to leave for vacation early as well. So I, there is no saying goodbye the day of. No, oh, Judy Greer. Yeah. Are they going to go visit their grandpa? It's not their grandpa, but yeah. Stepdad? If only, because that would actually tie it in better to the originals. But No, it would It'll be worse. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's dad like, hey, pay attention to your mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here. I'm serious. If I call you, answer. Oh, don't worry. That's never going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and here, yeah, they're having parent, they're having family issues because they always have to do that in Jurassic movies. Why are they sending their kids to visit their aunt? Uh, do you want the actual reason or? Yeah. The story, the story reason is because they're, is because they're going through a divorce and they don't want their kids to be part of it. The actual reason is they want they just want more kids and they don't want the adults. Oh, no, you, I know why. Remember, how, remember well, how I said he has a girlfriend? What's he doing? Checking out other girls. Oh, yeah, of course he's going to do that. I know, but still. <laughs> he's a bad boyfriend, let's face it. There it is. <laughs> Although, pretty cool yacht. I like the yacht. Everybody coming in. Now, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but if I were in charge of an island and my niece or ne and nephew were coming to an island, uh, I'm taking that entire week off to spend time with them because, I, well, as I'm pretty sure you know, I adore my niece and nephew. So, mm, Yeah. I don't know why you would send kids to your sister who clearly does, does not want them there. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. This part, the part that really gets me is like, okay, this came out well after like the age of like the little speaker phones in the years, and he still has like a full on like headset type thing. <laughs> you would think that they would have like the earbuds. Granted, I I could get earbuds, but I hate earbuds so much. I hate having things in my ears, so I have to have headsets. But the headphones are Beats. Yep, I know, but still, it just bugs me. Because like I said, you'd think they'd They're have... They're still really popular headphones. I mean, like, sure, they could have went with the AirPods, but yeah. going with the Beats, it's it shows the same thing. Yeah, fair enough. Teacher with his popular headphones. Yeah, teacher. Uh, teacher. Kid. Yeah, and here's the big part. They play the Jurassic Park music just as open up the park. Um, yeah. I kind of, like makes it less cool right you have this yeah. epic music for an amusement park you don't even see the dinosaurs yet not yet they yeah. saved this theme song in the original movie until you saw the motherfucking dinosaurs walking across the screen yeah it would have been more powerful i mean grant like i said i i have a list, several complaints about it later but and here this opening uh again it's like i oh us uh, like james cameron i can do his opening better than he can because, like, in Titanic, they have the opening where they show Kate Winslet for the first time. They do a long sweeping shot. And he just has it like, oh, she's in an elevator. She's lowering down. Although that opening is like, um, come on. Seriously, you're talking to your revenue. You're talking to your, like, shareholder people here. They don't need to hear the welcome to Jurassic World type thing. And plus, I don't think they'd be having this conversation with so many people around. I think they'd be actually, like, in a conference room. They would definitely not be doing this in the same area that the tourists are, like, watching you from. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. And here, apparently, dinosaurs have become passe, I guess is the best way to say it. Because, like, Oh, yeah, they've been making dinosaurs since 1993. Nobody cares anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, so but no, not my issue isn't that. My issue is their brilliant idea is let's fuck around with the DNA to make them more deadly, even though these things have reliably killed people en masse. Yeah. The Indominus Rex. It's like, um, you couldn't think of anything like nope. seriously, that's what you come up with. I mean, granted they hang a lantern on it, but hey, it's Doku's back. Henry Wu. Uh, and here's the thing: she'll be fifty foot, fifty feet full when she's fully grown. Uh, how do you know? You've never know. done all these before. <laughs> this is literally the well. This is the second time they've done dinosaur splicing. If you've watched Camp Cretaceous, but it's the first time that they that they have a successful in one. Anyway, oh, uh, real quick, left of the screen, you see a Spinosaurus skeleton. I just, yeah, hmm. that's yeah. That's a callback to uh, the outrage that they got when the Spinosaurus killed the T-Rex in the third movie. What happens later, but yeah. So I just, everybody keep in mind. Yeah. And these huge sweeping legs, yeah. Um, I will point out, you see a statue of John Hammond there. Um, considering Richard Attenborough had passed away before this movie came out, I kind of wish they had done more than just a background statue. I kind of wish that we like actually got a close up of it just to honor him, but that's that's just me. And these fake dig sites, which every little every place I mean, if you come out to the Black Hills, you find these places things all over the place where it's like you can dig up bones and stuff. Granted, it's not you're not really digging up real bones, they're fake, but still. Yeah, thank you. He knows the four DNA segment things, which I don't remember anything about. Yeah. Uh, I just know they start with an A, U, C, and G. Yeah. A T was the last one. That oh, was it? Okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Here and, yeah, it's been three, four years, uh, seven. Uh, number one, how do you remember? <laughs> Because I, I don't think you care either, dude. <laughs> this is for food. Uh, again, I know you. I know she's busy. I know she's like the CEO of the park. But again, I'm pretty sure you could just like, you know, take a week off to spend times with your kid, with your um, nephews here. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so uh, I don't think she understands work life balance. Fair enough. Her work is her life. She doesn't understand the family balance aspect of it. Fair there enough. are some people yeah. like that out there. Yeah, good point. And the whole holographic dinosaur thing there that they have in the background just because. Uh, again, it's like, oh, I, oh, I, these dino, oh, I can do this stuff. And it's like, no, you can't. A nice com view of our command center here. And uh, also, the guy who has a setup very similar to, uh, it's obviously a Serenity callback with this guy, where he has all the dinosaurs and stuff, like uh, Washington and Serenity. So, I like how he's wearing an old school Jurassic Park shirt. Yeah, yeah and here, and yeah, but she's chewing him out for it because, like, you know, people died at that park. <laughs> Yeah, but still, it's like, uh, how can you be getting on him for for wearing an old school Jurassic Park shirt? I mean, you want to be there if it weren't for that first part. Let's face it. Yeah, right? he, he, is, yeah. he didn't have anything to do with that, and he's now working at. Yeah, and thank you. Like I said, how I take to hang a lantern on the name. This guy, yep, fully. Another statue on the outside of yeah, and here. Pepsi Sor Pepsi Soros. I do like that. I like to toot it on. <laughs> yeah, here they here they're just kind of showing that like have animal containment units because these dinosaurs are apparently breaking their containments. It's like, um I think you have a fence. Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and then 
She's apparently smart enough to know he does this because he's very uncoordinated. Jurassic One ETA. Yeah, they have their own Jurassic One helicopter. Although I think they should make it look like it, like have, like well, you know how in old war school or war movies they had like the giant like the shark's teeth on planes and stuff. I think they should have that on this helicopter. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Um. How would you not know he flies? Because he, as he just said, he's getting his license in two days. Obviously, this is this is literally the first time she's seen him flying. <laughs> well, he he's it takes a long time to. I mean, because you don't just learn how to fly a helicopter in two days. You and it's like the same thing with cars. You don't learn how to drive a car in just five hours. I think so, she's surprised that he's flying a helicopter that she's going to be riding in. Yeah, fair enough. Because you're right. And as you learn to whole... drive a car, you don't start off with passengers until towards the end. Flown a helicopter, but I think you. I think if you were two days away from getting your license, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to take off more smoothly than that. Yeah, you probably should be. Yeah. <laughs> He's got an instructor right beside him who could easily take control if things went wrong. Although I don't see how the birds, like how he didn't see the birds. Yeah, here he's like, you gotta take, you gotta take some time off. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, no here, and here's the. And unless it comes to IT. Thank you. But yeah, it, the part that gets me here is like, okay. I understand you want everybody to be able to enjoy this park, but you still have to pay for it. <laughs> Way too close to trees there if you're just learning. Way too close. They have. Like I said, I really th I don't like the paint job. Like I said, that should be like a, you know, if you're going to have a whole Jurassic One chopper, chopper type thing, Make it look like a Jurassic Park. Yeah, you shop. think they would have the Jurassic World logo on it and stuff? Yeah, right. like I, the old shark te shark teeth in on um, planes in old movies. Do that. Make it like have sh have like dinosaur teeth on it, or how we always see the scratch marks for the one, two, three. Have scratch marks on the tail or something. Like I said, if you're gonna do it, go all in on it. Yeah, uh, we're building it bigger, so it's a good sign. Yeah. Again, uh, how is it that you... Because even alligators are smart enough to realize if you always come from one angle, that's where you're coming in at. I like her spirit. She's a dinosaur. She's a wild animal. You don't want your wild animals to have spirit when they can kill you if they escape. Bingo. Like bears, bears and wolves and stuff like that. They don't, or tigers, they don't go bashing on the cage trying to escape. So that's the last thing you want. It's white. You never told me it was white. How is that a problem? But I, what I, I'm going to point out, my kind of one of my big flaws in this, they keep, notice how they're keeping the dinosaur very hidden. They're not showing it. So it's like, oh, so it's going to be one of the, like a spooky reveal of it. So keep that in mind. Because that's what they're building up here, but they really, they drop the ball so hard on it later. Uh, here, can they, she see us? Well, she sees certain thermal radiation. So no, she couldn't then because she would see the temperature of the glass in front of you, not you. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, where's the sibling? She ate it. Um, I think you'd Wait. be having. Like, also, like, why would you want two of these? Like, I feel like yeah. that would have been double trouble anyway. Well, I mean, here's the problem they have with it already is that since there's only one of it and it doesn't interact with anything, it has absolutely no social skills. It's a it's a dinosaur sociopath. That's the only thing that could describe it. Yeah, here. It's like, oh, we have a guy. We have a guy who's like in the Navy. I want you to bring him in here to see if he notices anything. Uh I, why are you bringing him? Because wouldn't this be a number one thing of like, okay, we have actual like, oh, get like the T-Rex guys because we're actually dealing with something the size of T-Rex here. It's bigger than T-Rex. Yeah. And that's what but he's saying what is I mean. that this animal, as you just said, is different than the rest big. of their dinosaurs. And now uh, he wants to bring somebody. Yeah, that pig's not going to make it. Oh, the pig made it. Oh, that's gosh, weird. the CGI does not work. You can tell it is... Oh, that's... The CGI is so it clearly fake, and it does, it bugs me. They're dinosaurs. Of course, it's clearly fake. I know. The CGI just doesn't add up, though. It's like, you can do better. I know you can do better, because the first movie did better. Yeah, uh, these dinosaurs don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I think it'd be better, more powerful if he were like actually down. I mean, I don't want to say in the cage, but at least where like where he could reach down and touch them, where he was actually close to them. Because well, that would be uh, safety reasons. Well, I know why he doesn't do that. I know, but here's the thing: he's remember that he's supposed to have been with these creatures since they were born. Yeah, I'm still not gonna like trust that well i don't know it's like i said it's just it's a little too much for me honestly like i said i think if you're gonna own it i think if you're gonna do this you do you go all in on it especially with what happens later and here this hoskins guy who is the actor is a bad guy in every single movie he's ever been in (laughs) let's just put it that way yeah, and we've been, you, know, you haven't answered my calls. Well, you've been taking your paychecks. Oh, of course, they've been taking your paychecks. They need to eat. Yeah. Yeah, these are wild animals. I wouldn't say they're wild animals. I'd say they're tame. They're not domesticated by any sense of the imagination, but. They are tame because you can interact with them with some degree of safety. Yeah. And here, we're going to make a weapon. Uh, there's a re- well, here's the thing. Why would you go to dinosaurs already and not say, you know, bears, which like, a, like Bears have been in the process of being domesticated for a long time, and we're still not flipping there yet. Like I said, we can still only just tame bears. I mean, SeaWorld tames dolphins and whales, but you don't see us trying to use them in the ocean to do stuff for us. Actually, because they are. They're starting to use dolphins. Well, then fine. Yeah, they're Maybe you use, can trying to use dolphins to protect mines and stuff. These it's not working are. perfectly because they are still they, like you like you said they're still just tame animals so a lot of times they just say you know what screw this I wanna I wanna be a dolphin and go you know do dolphin things so like I said it's not working it's not working but but yeah there's a big difference between getting an animal to like do tricks and actually having a train you know a domesticated animal. I mean, like, bears are a great example. We have tame bears, but there is no domesticated bear. And the reason you know this is because even with tame bears, if they decide, I don't want to do that, they just won't do it. And even bear trainers always have bear mace. I know I know of one guy who had two cans of bear mace on each side. Why? Because he didn't know which arm was going to end up in the bear's mouth. Sounds about right. Yep. Yeah, 
You're not going to save any lives, though. What happens if these things decide, you know what? I don't want to take orders. I want to eat. You look tasty. I don't want to be the trainer for a velociraptor. No, okay. thank you. Yeah. And how do you make sure they come back? Mm -hmm. There's another thing. I mean, a wild bear on the loose is one thing, but a wild velociraptor on the loose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do like that. Do you even hear yourself when I talk? Yeah, not for a long time. Because like I said, we still, I mean, we have we have domesticated dogs and stuff. Uh, why We don't use them. Yeah, here. Big loose, the piggy got away. This is very inefficient. Wee! Uh, with that fall, I don't think he, I don't think he's getting back up. He broke something. Uh, I mean, it was only like one story. It, It'd be sorry. Thing. He wouldn't be getting up right away. That's for sure. A fall from 10 feet is an, is about 50, 50 chance of survival. Yeah. This is why I say he should have been closer because he can get in and stop them right in their face like this. Yeah. Yeah. Although my, I will say, uh, big complaint I have here, he should be being very like loud and angry because that's what you do when tamed animals don't listen. You get very loud there and be very angry. You have to assert like, authority. He don't really have much incentive to listen to him right now. Yeah. I get the feeling this may be the first time he's ever actually done this face to face with them. Yeah. But he, like I said, he comes off as afraid, and they always say that that animals can sense your fear. He should be furious. He should, like I said, he should be be big, loud, and aggressive. I won't, I won't say he should hit it because I mean, because that's what you do with dogs. Like if, with dogs, if they're acting up, you actually have to hit them to get them to do stuff. I don't think they should have him hit the raptors. But like no. I said, he needs big. He needs to be loud. He needs to be very loud and angry because I, I don't, like I said, he's too afraid. He's too passive there. Yeah, you're the new guy. Uh, why is the new guy doing a job that you don't want a new guy doing? And here's exactly why. Hello. I want to eat you. It's like, sure, you can try to domesticate these things, but. It yeah, takes a lot not, of time. It takes a lot of time and a many like, The army's not going to, like, be able to use no. these. Yeah. You'd have to have somebody, like, grow up with the freaking velociraptor. Well, how long did it more. take human? How long did it take humans to domesticate dogs? Long time. Centuries. It took and centuries of breeding. Yeah, yes. here, I do like the petting zoo idea. This is cool. I do like the petting zoo. Although the kid in the background here who hugs the dinosaur a little much, but yeah, I'm not dead and you're not five. And there, uh, why would you, I know she has, I know she want her like assist, like someone watching the kids. I don't think she'd send her actual assistant. I think she'd send someone else. No, she'd probably just send her assistant. Who else is she going to get? I don't know. Her assistant's already on the island. Consider? Uh, here, this like, oh, the kids are going to escape from her because reasons and yeah. Because they're kids and yeah. she's not even like watching them anyway. I don't know why they feel the need to run away from her. Yeah, no doubt. They have free, I mean, she's not restricting them from doing anything. They have free reign. So what's it matter if she's with you or not? Although the, fi the, the fire grill in the background is like, yeah, I love going. They, they just... Uh, but they like they just opened up a grill like that, and it's delicious. I love it. It's not gonna make it. Flare to get the T Rex to notice the food. I like that they hide the dinosaur eating the thing, but and here, so of another, or she's also a, a businesswoman in her own self, and yeah. Oh, hold on. How is it? Okay, she does have the Bluetooth set up in her car. I, for a I thought for some reason, I thought she would actually pick it up and... Yeah. 
Again, you couldn't take a like a week off to spend time with your nephews. You couldn't get that figured out. She's British, so they invented British inventions. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I don't know either. Okay, yeah, blah, blah. Uh, and apparently Zach is a bully to Gray, even though we don't actually see that anywhere in the movie. And she needs to be in her meeting and she's crying on the phone. Uh, you don't come in using things like that and not, and not because I do it all the time. I don't know. I don't know. I, for some reason, I just kind of wish they had gotten like Julianne Moore to play the mom for some reason. I know it wouldn't work, but still. <laughs> Although here, apparently this is where he lives. Uh, in some... He lives in some tra like rundown trailer on the island. I think he could find better. Yeah. She's like overly dressed for this meeting with him at his house in the middle of the woods. I mean, I understand. I understand. Yes, that I get that. But the coat over her shoulders and not actually wearing it. Oh, and he picks the fly directly out of the sky. Notice he can somehow do that. Yeah, here and yeah, clearly flirting. Come on. <laughs> what if you have done this before the thing hatched, or at least when it was they definitely? Well, no, but that's what she was saying is that this thing is smarter than they were anticipating, and they had to change the way they were building it originally because it was finding ways to escape and looking for weaknesses. So yeah, now they're doing they're like triple checking and they want to bring in fresh eyes. Yeah. Uh why would you if you're going on a date, why would you have such a strict diet at that specific time? I don't know. Yeah. You're allowed to have a diet and go on dates at the same it's, time. It's a, I'm saying it's a first date. Wouldn't you want to make a good impression? I don't know. It's, just, it's like I said, she's coming off as overly preppy considering, but. um, I don't think she's actually interested in him and thus doesn't care what he thinks of her. Fair enough. I'll give you that. Uh, these dinosaurs aren't thinking. They're animals. <laughs> That's what he's trying to tell her. Yeah. I do like that line of like, oh, you're not even human. <laughs> Although here, this part it gets me is like, she says you should change your shirt. There, it's attract, it's sensitive to smell. I would have, I would have had him say something like, "Okay, look, let me take a shower and I'll be right with you." Because, like with wool, like with tracking dogs, is a great example. If you just change your clothes, they still smell you. If you shower, they still smell you. <laughs> There's no such thing as oh I can get away from a from like a, a canine. I don't meeting. think she was being serious about the sensitive smell part. I think she was just. He changes his. No, he she is. He changes his shirt. Well, we see later. Yeah, in there. Oh, his girlfriend. Uh, Mosasaur. Hi, Shamu. Yeah. Uh, if that Mosasaur were the, if that Mosasaur were truly the size that that they show. Because remember, that shark would probably be 16, 20 feet. So if the Mosasaur were actually that big, it would be like 100 feet long. It would be the longest animal ever. <laughs> or at least the longest vertebrate ever, I should say. <laughs> yeah, and all the whole Sea World thing of like, oh, we got splashed. It has 88 teeth. How would you? I don't know. 
I wanted to point something out, but we kind of missed it there, so I'll try to notice it later. <laughs> Just me being a dinosaur nerd. Yeah, they're there. I like how everybody keeps making fun of the name, though. You're not the only one. The hang lantern on it, and they do, like I said, it's not just the hang lantern, they go full out. Yeah. Although the two guys just sitting up on the supports having lunch is kind of like, I know that they're guys having lunch, but still, it's just like, you think they'd be like actually on a table having lunch or something, not just on a support team. Yeah, here. Uh, you, she would certainly know what it is. Never seen anything outside of these walls. The cancer is active on it. Can you feel it now? Is there a problem? Animals raised in isolation. Like I said, they basically made a dinosaur sociopath. Birds are born in captivity. Siblings. Yep. They learn social skills. And I imprint on them when they're born. It's trust. The only positive relationship this animal has is with that brain. At least she knows that means food. So she needs a bed. Yeah, too late. It's already with how big it is. Too late. It's already it so. It's sibling. I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with it, and it's not going to just socialize in the. You know. Like I said, it's already a sociopath. It's too late. It was just here. Okay, now they're gonna. It's like, oh, for some reason it's not showing up. So now we're gonna try to detect it with thermal imaging software. Uh, and apparently it got out. Um, wouldn't? Then it didn't have... just disappear. Yeah. Were those clothes mark always there? Mm -hmm. It just. Yeah. I can, uh, why don't you just call them from where you're standing right now? Why not? Just, why even get in the car and drive off? You would have, like I said, you would be on the phone that all like then when you're in the paddock. And how, how come yeah. that area doesn't have a direct, like a dirt, like a landline to them? Yeah. Uh, Definitely yeah, should yeah. How come they you. don't have, like I said, how come they don't have a direct? Why are they going into? Yeah, the and thing? here, like I, this is, you would never ever go into a pen. I mean, number one, that guy should automatically be like back. The guy in blue, he should all, all really just stay in the control room. That way, it's like, oh, even if it was out of containment, they could bring it back and he could open the doors. You know, you would stay there. You wouldn't go in. Yeah. Yeah, I what the hell? Here. It's in a cage. It's in the cage. Yeah, like I said, you would have this phone call with them while you were there because oh look, it's in the cage and so are people because you're an idiot. And apparently there are, it's, the radio's not working. Of course not. Yeah, uh, and you wouldn't, I don't think running would be a good idea because this is a, supposed to be a very smart, intelligent animal. Don't let it know what it, well, you want to play smart. So what he should have done is just, okay, open the door that we are already standing at and get out that way and then, ha then close it from the outside. Oh no, poor guy gets grabbed. Well, that's what this guy's trying to do. Oh, yeah. Also, how is it not like a double door system? You're asking the wrong idiot. Yeah. Again, it's I don't like that. It's like like, it's like I said, what they should be trying to do is keep it very hidden. Don't show it at all. They just showed us a big close-up of his face. Here's the worst part, though. They show him 
escape, and then we get a nice big, oh, look, that's exactly what it looks like. So like I said, they should be keeping it very hidden and not, because like I said, all these other scenes, keeping it very hidden so we don't see it. We've already seen it. We know what it looks like, and now you're trying to build the suspense of not letting us see it again? Yeah, I guess they were hoping that uh, the other shots are too quick to really have much of an impact. But they do. Yeah, you're going to die, dude. Yeah, it sees you right now. Like I said, he wouldn't, I don't think he ever, I mean, there's number one, you got out of the cage first. Why are you just sitting behind a truck? Why wouldn't you run back into the control room? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make make sense. Yeah, and then it's like, okay, I'm just going to sit here because, yeah, I know I'm dead. Yeah. And here, cutting the line and spraying oil all over yourself. Uh, Like I said, uh, a wolf, a dog, a canine unit would still smell you. That's not going to work. And here, again, we get a nice big shot. We know exactly what this thing looks like. We can see it clearly right here. But... Again, it's like we just see the nose here. This is what we should have seen, just the nose coming in. Yeah, they didn't really do the suspense thing all that well with the... horrible on it. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, it would certainly smell you. It would smell you. Even though you covered yourself in oil, it would still smell you. You know what I wish they had done? They what? should have had the good old fashioned water ripple scene as it like as they realized it was still in the cage with them. That would have been better, actually. No, like because there cause should have been a whole... puddle near them. The as yes. she's like calling them, he sees the puddle ripple and it realizes what they're trying to say. That that, that would, so that would actually be a lot better too. Because I mean, here's the thing: they had the whole thing of the radio shorting out. Have it yeah. be the radio shorting out, and they they don't hear, and then have him look down and see, like like you say, see the puddle going. The puddle is that like would be perfect. Park. How did they we not make, do that? We make better movies than these idiots who make Hollywood movies. Yeah, it, it has a thing that'll shock it if it's if it gets too close to a fence. It got out of containment. How come it's not being shocked already? Yeah, you'd think that as soon as it got close to that door that was going to leave out of it, it should have started to get shocked. Yeah. Oh, hello, kitty. That's nothing. Four miles is nothing. An animal, yeah, that's nothing. Not with, not for a dinosaur that large. No doubt. I mean, even a person can do four miles in very short order. I mean, I mean a, a, an, an, an average person walk. walking could go four hours in about 30 minutes. So, no. yeah. No. Yeah. To walk four miles would take at least an hour. I don't know. The average person maybe, walks maybe, about... Okay, maybe, run, maybe running, but still. No, it's, you can walk a mile in about 20 minutes. You can run a mile in about 12 to 15. I don't know. It's like I said. For the, it's unfit, still... for the average unfit person. Okay, there, mile, there, there. You're walking a mile in, in 20 minutes. Okay, fair enough. Well, I was thinking more like uh, actual fit person, but. Yeah, my wife came at me with a steak knife. Uh. You are a bad person. If your wife attacked you with a steak knife, what the hell did you do? Assuming your wife is not insane. Yeah, and they have they have these dog. Okay, apparently you can just pet the Velociraptor. It's it notice his head is restrained, but still. Yeah, apparently they. Yeah, have, I don't want to pet it though. My <laughs> thing is they. Why would these dinosaurs stick their head into that thing? Because they've been trained to so that they can be medically evaluated. It's the same thing with muzzling certain dogs. You just train them to get used to it and they accept it. And that's how you take them to the vet and like see people and keep them calm. But the problem is we've already seen they don't like that. These animals, these, the, the velociraptors don't like having their heads in that. So I don't think that they would be okay with it. Again, they've been trained that they have to do it every so often. And obviously, they probably could get out of that or not put their head in it if they didn't want to. 
I don't know. I don't think they would do that, even if they had been trained to do that. If it were something, if it were something like they have with cows, where they stick their head in to eat fair. and then you restrain it, then I can see that. But That's like, fair. there's nothing there that would tempt them to go in. And dude, you're this is not attractive. You are just being creepy, staring at the girl sitting directly behind you. Because guess what? She notices, and she like remember how we talked about in the Star Wars, aggressively hitting the panic button. Yeah, here and again, like I said, oh, their divorce, their parents are getting divorced because for some reason these movies always have divorce. I would like for once these movies have a happy marriage, but it never happens. Nobody was married in the first one. I know, but still, like I, because like I said, they were. Oh, it's always divorce, divorce, divorce. In the first root, the first movie, the kids are there to be like, oh, so that way they're not part of the divorce stuff. That's the same thing. They're that visiting movie. grandpa. No, their their parents were getting divorced, and that's why they sent them away. And here, the kid notices the uh, the asset containment unit driving in their trucks, and apparently, it's a big deal, even though it's just some trucks driving. This would be really cool, though. Drive like doing a paddle boat thing with the dinosaurs right there. I it'd be cool, but I don't think it'd work. Because those dinosaurs are still big, very powerful animals. Look, hippopotamus is vegetarians, but you still don't want to be near one. Well, it's like with a whale. It's like with whales. Whales will not, there is not a single species of whale that will eat a human. But a whale, if a whale decides it doesn't like you, it can seriously injure you because it's a big, powerful animal. Gorillas are another example of a big, powerful animal of it can kill you without even thinking about it. Although we have the whole thing where it shows their pulses. Um, is that really a thing? Do they actually have that? I kind of, and this, they make this one guy out to be like, oh yeah, he's the leader. He's our, all this stuff. Again, I think if you're going to do that, you go all in and hire someone like Jackie Chan to do it. 300 Why don't you have... Okay, you're they're going after him with non-lethals. Okay, so how many of those guys have tranquilizer guns? Oh, none? That's a problem. None of these guys... Yeah. 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 Because apparently, like, notice they all are carrying a gun of some kind, but apparently none of them are trank guns, which would no, be they're no all like nets and like for strength yeah. stuff. Yeah, how do you not have a trank? Yeah, they're idiots. That's a giant tracker that they had in that thing. Yeah. You mean to tell me like a normal microchip wasn't going to work on a large animal? Apparently not. A- no, apparently they didn't just dis- mind you. Maybe that's the thing that was zapping it. Maybe that's the zappy thing, and it got close to a fence and it started zapping it, so that's why it called it out. Which would actually make more sense than it remembered it, that where you put it. Oh, you're dead. Yep. Like I said, they make him out to be like this badass type guy, but it's like, if you're going to do that, make him be like Jackie Chan. If you're going to do it, go all in. And here. This is where we should full. This is where we should reveal it, because they do this whole thing of it coming out of the leaves and and they uncam. They, like I said, this would be a good reveal if we hadn't already revealed it. You know how much I get on reveals and stuff like that, but oh my god! And here we got the whole callback of him being swamped, because <laughs> apparently he couldn't roll out of the way. So yeah, notice they're shocking it. Where again, you're supposed to be able to like contain it. How are you containing it? You're just pissing the the flip off. Where are the people? Look at that tiny little net. It went around its mouth, and that's like it. They mind you, I could under I can understand them using a net like that to contain its mouth while they got trained while they shot it with tranquilizer guns. But yeah, you got fucked up somehow. And here, apparently has a shotgun, but don't worry, it's bulletproof. I don't get that. Apparently the thing's bulletproof. It's like you're clearly shooting it, and it's fine. 
they're rubber bullets. I mean, they're not real bullets because, again, they were using non-lethal weapons. It makes no sense. They made a dinosaur homelander. <laughs> there can only be one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll give you points. That was a good one. If only they had killed. If only they had shown them in sand, though, that would have been better. I'm sorry, that was lame. Yeah, uh, you know how much money it would cost to actually mount that gun to, mach- to a helicopter and fly the helicopter? It's not. Yeah, <laughs> you just fucked up that guy's work setting, dude. Come on, you're a dick. They're all gonna die. It doesn't matter. Fair enough. Yeah, I would have a word with your people, and uh, that thing's no dinosaur. No shit. Yeah, and he's got to go back and organize his dinosaurs. He he did that very quickly, I will say. (laughs) Again, none of these are dinosaurs. (laughs) There are theme park attractions, especially with what we hear later. Should probably start evacuating. Yeah. Yep. Uh, right now, her plan is not to evacuate. It's just to have it that everybody goes back to the resort, like into their hotel rooms and stuff. We should start evacuating people at the resort. You think? Again, dude, you are not. This is not. You are being so creepy. Finally, he speaks up about. It. Yeah. Thank you. I like that. Here's the thing. Those girls are more attracted to his little brother for calling him out. (laughs) Yeah, this part. Yeah, I understand this poor kid just, you know, doing his job of like, enjoy the ride, enjoy the ride. But what gets me is those balls are so, they only fit two people. Really? That's the best you can do. They couldn't have like, oh, I don't know. I can understand them having like little balls for like two people, like two people balls for like, oh, a couple. I kind of expect them to fit at least four, mostly for families. Stuff. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You, but they should have also have family ones too. Seriously? Yeah, and uh, notice how he has to immediately pull out the book to under. I think this would actually be being spoken over like an intercom system instead of definitely him- should be over the intercom system. Yeah. And honestly, <clears throat> this park should probably have an app that's now putting out notifications to everybody who has tickets that says yeah. this exact thing. Because they have, don't they have that at like Disney World and shit? I think they do. Most parks at this point have like the large ones. Disney definitely does. I think mm-hmm. Universal might. I don't know. It's been a while. When did this movie come out? Maybe not. I don't know. It's- uh, it came out well at... Okay, smartphones were a thing when this movie came out. Yeah, but I don't know if people were big into apps for... right. But, like, they could be sending out emails and, like, text notifications. Yeah. There would definitely be articles... I can't, I can't see when it came out because every because when I'm looking it up, it's just showing me the release times for the new one that's coming out here in next week. <laughs> that's fair. We just... we By the way, we just beat the last the last movie coming out in this, so... But yeah, here, this part gets me. It's like, okay, they turn Henry Wu into... From a scientist who's just make, you know doing his best to make cool dinosaurs to a full-on supervillain. Yeah, he's doing exa- what yeah, what you're doing here, what you've done. He's doing what you told him to do. This, this part, is why Wu well, becomes the bad guy because he Yeah. yeah. Like I said, in the because in the first one, he was just a guy who's doing you know, he's just a guy making dinosaurs. He's just a scientist doing his best to make dinosaurs. Because yeah, and you know, Hammond what, respected him. Hammond yeah. respected the park. But yeah, now now he's just a full on evil villain because it's like okay, it's kill people. I think when he said it's kill people, it's like okay, we'll put a hold on everything we're doing. I won't say he's canceling everything, but put a hold on it at least because people are no. dead. And like I said, he's just going full on evil villain here. <laughs> I don't think Wu's an evil guy right here. I think he's just someone who's doing his job, 
He's like, look, I'm just a scientist. You gave me a task to do. You gave me the parameters. I met it. You approved this thing. And the guy saying is telling Wu, Wu's going to take the whole hit and he's going to go down for this thing. And Wu's like, no, 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 no. You're in this as much as I am. In your memo is the reason why you're in it. Yes. I and would that's agree. why Wu goes becomes a villain because he's tired of taking this shit from managers. I would agree, except he has the whole thing of the canary and the cat moment, which is that I'm sorry, that speech is there. Yeah, oh god. I don't they have think the whole created Jim, the Indominus Rex to be a bad guy. That's my point. Yeah, for did not fair create enough. this thing with the intent for it to get out and to kill people. He created I do it agree with that. I do agree with that. But um, hold on. Was that Jimmy Kimmel there? I don't and know. I missed that was. Apparently it that was. was Jimmy Kimmel? They really hired, They like I said, yeah. they couldn't do, Jimmy like, Fallon. go all out to, and the others, sorry, for the go all out there. Hey, look, all you got to do is find a celebrity who is a huge fan of the original movies, and they'll do anything to be in the sequels. That's what happened. That's what they did that's with Star Wars. Really. Yeah, that's Kimmel what they did with Star Wars. <laughs> exactly what they did with Star Wars. Yeah. They're still uh, doing that with Star Wars. Yep. This, yeah. Ride closed. Okay. Uh, wouldn't, okay. Wouldn't they, uh, like, this system automatically go back? Yes. It should be. Yeah, but no. That thing should totally have, like, a system in it that says all oh, this thing's being closed and it calls it back to home base. Yeah, you'd think, but no. These guys can apparently just stay out. <laughs> Yeah, and here I don't think I can understand like that type of ride with some dinosaurs. I don't think they'd be doing that in this type of situation because they just started a flipping stampede. Yeah, and here, here, oh, she's going, oh, the, my nephews, uh, blah blah blah. I need to love them because reasons. Wouldn't you have done this earlier? And how is it your assistant has not called you already? I like her. Her assistant is Lena Luther in the, the Supergirl TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, here. I can't really hear you. I'm We're in the hamster ball. This is when you send them a text. So they get it whenever they get the signal. Yeah, but no, they lose signal because apparently this thing, this place doesn't have any. I mean, number one, wouldn't they kind of be going, "Hey, maybe we should, you know, take this seriously"? No, obviously not. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of missing guests, which I do know is a thing at theme parks. Guests, like little kids wander away from their parents. It happens all the time. Yeah, and now she's going to go to Owen because why else? But I well, Owen is the dinosaur whisperer, so yeah. <laughs> why is that door open? <laughs> yeah, this part makes absolutely no sense. There's an open door. And These things should crazy. have like roots and stuff programmed. You shouldn't be able to free drive it around the park. Yeah. Why is that door open? It makes no it's sense. Nothing, nothing makes sense in there. But yeah, like I said, it's like okay, they should have number one. These kids should automatically be going. Hey, we should be going back. We got our aunt called us. And told us we need to do something. I know I heard that, so we should probably head back just in case. Yeah, here you don't know how old your nephews are, and she has that. Oh no! If I were him, I'd be like, "Wait, you have nephews visiting?" Yeah, because like he's been with her for half the day at this point, and this is the first time she's brought them up to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, like I said, if I if I were in this situation with my niece with my niece and nephew, I'm taking that entire flipping day off because, well, I love my niece I mean, and nephew. I'm surprised that's not his first response, but I guess him making fun of her for not knowing how old they are is yeah. kind of what he's getting at. Yeah, and here, why would they have these ankylosauruses in a sectioned off area of the park? Because they clearly went through a fence to get here, 
And apparently they didn't realize that a giant freaking dinosaur is right behind them. And here, again, they're trying to hide it in the sun. Oh, it's playing soccer with them. How cute. <laughs> Gosh, I don't think they I don't think this would be as smooth as it is. Here's a question. What happens if those things are running into like a mud patch? Wouldn't the mud get like stuck to the outside and you just have this big mud ball? Maybe. Yeah. If that thing hit you hard enough to screw up the the gyroscope thing on that thing, I don't think you'd be oh, conscious really. Because that's a hard hit. That is a hard hit. Yeah, here. I need to get my little like play balls that have gyroscope things like that to yeah. stay upside down like that. Yeah. No, I will say we saw that Indominus Rex take a take a Ankylosaurus club to the face. If that actually happened, the Indominus nose is Rex. The no, that thing's nose is completely shattered. Those clubs are very heavy. Yeah. Don't worry, we have signal now. Uh, yeah. How is that thing not full? Uh, it's eaten so many things at this point. Isn't it full yet? It's not eating them. It's just killing them. What is it? Oh, Jesus. Like I said, it's a giant or sociopath. It's not eating anything. It's just killing. <laughs> yeah, here, I don't think the a claw that its claw would be able to pierce through like that. Because remember, that's supposed to be like bulletproof strong strength glass. I don't think his claw would be strong enough to break it like that. Yeah, and there's no way you're going to get your mouth around that, and I don't think you'd be strong enough to break it like this. No, that would break its jaw. Yeah. Hey, here, this part gets me. They uh, release the, they unclip the seatbelt and somehow get out. <laughs> yeah, it had broken the top off. Yeah, it, so they fell off the top. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't buy that. They had been smashing it on the floor. It broke the top. So that's how they got out. And again, they can somehow outrun this thing. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, this part here that is really gets me. We need to jump. I yeah, we need. We're gonna Don't have to jump. I can't. If I were him, I would oh, throw God. him in. You're dead. Yeah. That wasn't even jump. that hard of a drop. That water's not that deep. Surprised the dinosaur yeah. doesn't try to go in after them. Yeah. I would have, I don't know if they have a line, but I would have had him say a lot, like had a line saying like he was like in some sort of like, I don't know, like, I don't want to say military boot camp or something like that, but you know, like something like that where it's like, okay, he knows how to do a high jump like this because you can do high jumps from that like that. It's, it's not, not it's not comfortable. I've done, I've done a jump from, I think it was 40 feet. It hurt. It was very painful hitting the water, but you can do it. Maybe it wasn't 40 feet. Maybe it was only 30 feet. I don't remember how high it was. I was in Boy Scouts, and we did a jump like that. Kids are pretty resilient. Yeah. No, but like I said, they have that whole thing of like, okay, we're going to have to jump. And he says, I can't. Like I said, if I were him, I probably would have just picked him up and threw him and then jumped. Oh, is this the scene where we get the really horrible, absolutely disgusting puppet? I think it is. There's one shot they do of a puppet, and it's so horrible. He's got a very tiny gun. I think he's got a pretty big game on her. The bear gun. Yeah. Oh, my God. Air gun, maybe. Bear gun. Ah. I think it'd be, I think it, like, it doesn't look like a bear gun. It looks too small. <laughs> no, he said it's actually a legit big game hunter gun. Maybe. Okay, but no, yeah. It is. 4570. Did you see the round on it? No, I didn't see the round on it. Yeah, it's a 4570. It's a fairly That's a big round. 4570 are big, so maybe. I don't know. I don't think the gun, it doesn't look like it is, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a big, I'm not huge into guns, but yeah. Like I said, they made a. This is the one puppet they use, and it's so bad. It looks. Tell me, come on, this is not good. 
I mean, it looks rubber. It looks like it's made of rubber. It's not that bad. Like I said, its skin looks like rubber. It doesn't look like I don't like a crocodile skin or I'm using crocodiles example as an example or like a monitor lizard or something like that. Like I said, it looks like it's rubber. I'm glad that they have time to stop and like do yeah, this and with stop the and watch it die while her nephews are out on the loose. Yeah. Because, yeah, here it dies. <laughs> yeah. They have this whole scene to stop and watch this dinosaur die. And see, like here from a distance, it looks fine. But when they had the close up, it was clearly just rubber. I don't think it was that bad. I think it was. <laughs> and here, like I said, remember how I said that it's not it's not eating; it's just killing. Apparently, these dinosaurs were all just standing around and watching it kill them. Well, because you think what? They were trying to run. I mean, the grounds all tore up. I don't think they were just standing there. I don't think they'd be just. But here's the thing: if it killed one of them. How is it that they're not like running in separate directions or at least getting away? And this I, guy apparently got the army and involved ASAP. Uh, they've been waiting for him to, uh, for this call to come in and take the Velociraptors to use as, you know, to recruit for the army. I'm sorry, the way you, s what number, okay, number, what are you doing here, dude? Why are you so interested? But, uh, but uh, anyway, I like the idea of like, oh, they're just, they're, we're all waiting. So I just have this image of these guys just sitting around in the warehouse, staring at the phone, like, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, they obviously weren't called in for the Indominus Rex getting loose. They were called yeah. in because, oh, the Velociraptors are totally tame and can be taken and used for the army. Let's steal the Velociraptors without their handler and expect them to listen to just anybody we stick with them. Because really, that's a good idea. Uh, again, and the tooth there did not look like a real tooth. I don't know. His phone got shattered. Yeah. Which, granted, considering that they were in a giant hamster ball thing that got crushed. Perfect. Yeah, I, I do believe that it probably didn't survive. Although I'm a little bit surprised it only has a broken screen and is not broken in half. How do you know they jumped? Shut up! But you are in a freaking dinosaur infested area. What happens if it hears you and goes, hmm, you sound like you might be fun to kill? Although here, this part here. Dog? Yeah. I, I was with the Navy, not the Navajo. <laughs> And finally, I, honestly, no, this is the stupidest thing ever. Yes. Like, oh, like, yeah. She unbuttoned her shirt. You're still wearing stupid heels. How does she at least not have like a pair of boots like in a bag with her? Yeah, that yeah, did no nothing. Doubt. Thank you. Yeah. And then here, it's like, what? okay, you did, you had this whole, I'm getting ready. That doesn't make any sense. You still have the wrong shoes on, dear. Yeah. And you're, you're still, still wearing in heels. an A-line skirt that does not give you a good range of motion. She's in heels. That's the big one. She can I mean, take yes, those off and go barefoot, thing. but she's yeah. still in a skirt and in all white. Like, she's yeah. not dressed for this at all. Yeah. Although I am going to point out, they had a scene, a cut scene, where they, like, come across dinosaur dung, and they're, and they're like, okay, we need to hide our scent, so they cover themselves in dinosaur dung. There was a scene cut that was that, which I appreciate them cutting. They found a worker's helmet that was launched on. Yep. That thing's destroyed. Yeah, stay here. He's not staying. Yeah, that thing's not going anywhere. 
it's fine. But apparently it's super near the old park because look. Right. Which why wouldn't they use they like, set up in the old park? Yeah, I mean the That's building is clearly still standing. Because the old park well, it's also condemned. It would probably need more work to repair it than it would be to just build a new one. Mm, maybe. It takes a lot of like old buildings take a lot to re be repaired. Yeah, that's true. It takes a lot to tear them down. Wait, wait, that's fine. They have monkeys on this island? Sure. My thing, my thing just said monkeys chittering. That's hilarious. <laughs> they have monkeys on this island? We didn't see any. So this is where the T-Rex ate the Velociraptors in the first movie. Yep. This is the hey, look, there's the T-Rex bones that fell in the first movie. Yep. He finds a club. Like an old... It's, it's an old dinosaur bone. And um, there's the streamers that fell yeah, as yeah, the two... Yeah, there's that fell. They're, yep. they're doing this whole callback thing, but they're not paying it. They're not giving it the respect that it, you think it should. No, the, oh, do you still have those matches? Of course he does. He's a... Again, that's not how you hold a, hold a torch. You, if you're going to light a torch, you hold it behind your head so you can actually see, not in front of your face. Oh, man, does the kitchen still have all, like, the snacks and stuff and the melting ice cream that the kids didn't quite finish? <laughs> <laughs> if only. No, they don't come across the kitchen. Or, well, they don't look at any of the... They just look at the one blossom, the one blossom everything. And he... This part coming up here, he finds the goggle set that little Timmy found in the first one, but he just turns them on and they, like I said, they're not, they're doing these callbacks, but they're not paying, they're not giving it the respect that you think it deserves, that it should deserve. They're not really doing anything with it. They're just yeah. like. They're just pointing it out. Mm -hmm. It's basically, like I said, they're basically just pointing at this like, oh, you remember this. And they're not, and they're not giving these things that the respect that they should. I mean, I don't know what you expect the them to do. I respect. I just don't. Well, the don't fuel would the be gone. Would the battery even turn over at that point? No. No. What they? Yeah, they say. Oh, you remember when? Because they have the line of you remember when we uh, fixed our car up with uh with our grandpa. Uh, that truck has been sitting there for what thirty years? years. Yeah, I don't think it's starting even if you change the battery. You're gonna need. You're basically gonna need a whole brand new engine. Yeah, here. Your program was to test their intelligence, and his guy is going full on. We need to militarize them. Yeah. Again, I want to point out we that we have tame bears. We're not using them in the military. That's basically what he's suggesting. They have no place to go. Uh, get start. Okay, start evacuating them. They how have they not started evacuations? Yeah, how is the evacuations not started yet? Is the question. How do they not have like a backup plan for evacuating this many people in the park? No doubt. Like that would be some, but it's like the Titanic at this point. Except we're past the Titanic, right? We already learned that these dinosaurs can possibly get loose. That's why the first park failed. So how do we not have safeguards to quickly get everyone off the island in the event that happens again? How do we not get bombs in the heads? Yeah, here <laughs> they got a guy with a full-on minigun. I didn't hear what your husband said. He said, how have they not learned to just put tiny bombs in all of the dinosaurs' heads? Oh, so Suicide Squad then? Do a whole other... <laughs> I mean, honestly, why aren't they doing stuff like well, that? I don't like, think the whole life scene thing didn't work in the first movie. Yeah. Obviously, like uh, I want to point out, I don't think you can just bolt in a, a minigun to a helicopter and have that and have that work. Yes, it's definitely out there. Because yeah. because here's the thing: they just showed us they were bolting the minigun to the co chopper, and apparently that's going to work. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Why, number one, why do they even have a minigun if they don't have anything to mount it to? Because firing a minigun is not easy. You're stronger than me. How is he stronger than you? He's like twice the size. He's like half the size of you. He was pretending it was heavy just to make his little brother feel good when it was so easy for him to carry it. Fair enough. Yeah, here. No way. You just changed the battery. It's not starting. No. Mm -mm. No way it works. You were going to... You'd have to change the oil, change the battery. You'd, like I said, it'd be better to just take the entire engine out and put a new one in, probably. Although I do like that part of, like, didn't you fail your driving test? Oh, only the driving part. Yeah, like I said, it's been sitting there for like 26, like what did you say, 25, 26 years? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think it's starting. Uh-oh, they're being tracked. How is it tracking them? I don't know. Apparently it's followed, but yeah. Because it's right outside. And he just left his gun. Hello. Yeah, it would. I don't think his gun is going to do anything against this giant yeah, thing. Uh, anyway. this, hold on, hold on. I want to point out: it can see you. It can see you. It can it's see right you. It can definitely. It can clearly see you. But no, it just needs to scratch its nose. It would clearly see you and clearly smell you. But no, it just needs to scratch. Its, its nose. nose is right next to them. It definitely smells them. Yeah. Well, you can see from the angle of its eye. It could see them. But no, it just wanted to scratch its nose. It's not going to like come back and rip the car away and be like, ha ha, oh, you were there. Just Thank wait. you. Thank you. come to the ceiling. Yeah, I didn't see that coming, honestly. Yeah. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, see. How, okay, wait, it was coming through the ceiling. How did it get down and hit the car forward? It kicked the car. It was coming through the ceiling. Though, for like, so it came through the ceiling like this with them here. And then went around and hit the car instead of the just tail wrapped around the building and hit the car. I don't think the tail that long. <laughs> the tail's pretty long. But it, but that raises the question. Okay, it's inside the building. Well, because it should have been inside the building from where it came in at, but we didn't see it inside for some but reason. It didn't go. It just broke through the ceiling from the side, and then its tail was around. Like the, I don't know, dude. I don't know. What to <laughs> We're trying, we're making we're putting too much thought into this scene that makes no sense. Well, they clearly put zero thought into it when they That's filmed fair. it. So. Okay, now I want to point out, you remember how I said that there was a whole uh, attack scene of hel the helicopters in the first movie? They reuse it here. This is where we finally see it. What, the helicopter being attacked? Yeah, the helicopter being attacked by pterodons. Because remember I said that was a scene cut from the first movie. This is where it actually happens. Where are they going? They're hunting on the, the thing. No. Yeah. See? They see it. And he has a minigun. Uh, I don't think... No, this doesn't make sense. Number one, that he can't hit it. Number two, that the forces of that... Because there's the thing. That's a lot of force being applied to that gun when it's firing. I don't think the tiny little screws that they put into it is going to hold it to the chopper frame. And I don't think the pilot is skilled enough to be able to hold the chopper steady when that gun is firing. I don't know. The yeah. Well, it reminds me it reminds me of the AC130 Spooky. When they fire the guns in that thing, the pilot has to maintain constant control because there's a lot of force being pushed on the side of the plane. And here, yeah. Uh shouldn't you be going fully automatic to kill the pterodons trying to eat you, you know? But yeah, see, yeah. And then here we get a nose, yeah. That like I said, that scene was directly cut from the from the first one, but no. And yeah, now he get this guy who apparently is important gets his just oh no yeah. Well, he's the new John Hammond. Yeah, I know. It'd be I think that it should have been someone that we've seen in the other movies though instead of this new guy. Though. I mean, How granted, they didn't really have anybody who could do that type of role, but yeah, the yeah. 
Yeah, and there she's that's like okay, clearly heartbroken, crying, and still needs to do her job of that. There's a breach in the area on Dementor Dog. You know we're all gonna die at this point. Yeah, everybody yeah, everybody's dead. Everybody's screwed. What I want to know is how is the aviary doesn't have like a cage over top of the cage? I just feel like all these things should have had two layers of security mm -hmm. to keep things in. I agree. I agree. No, well, my granted, my thing is is number one, how is the Indominus Rex strong enough to break into it? Because that shouldn't be that shouldn't be like glass thick. It should be thick glass. And how is Apparently it that, it wasn't that the thick? Because everything broke in and out of that thing. Yeah. I'm surprised the pterodactyls couldn't break out of it themselves. They probably could have if they tried. tried hard enough. Yeah. But another thing is, like, I, if it were to be built properly, I think the helicopter probably would have landed on top of it and bounced off. I don't yeah. think the helicopter would have enough force to crush through it like it did. Yeah. Like a drive standard. Okay. okay. He, not only does he know how to drive, he knows how to drive a stick shift. <laughs> How many people nowadays know how to drive a stick shift? You open the gate. They can't hear you. Now we're going to die. Yeah, yeah here. <laughs> Although I think this is, we're coming up to a scene where we see the real hero of the movie. Poor Lena. Yeah, she dies horribly. Like, she dies in the most horrible way possible. Yeah. And uh, you can just hop on this ATV and no one cares. Where did they even get the ATV at? I don't know. Apparently it was just sitting there. Oh, okay. That's why, yeah, these poor people are just sitting there hotter than heck. Why wouldn't they be, like, in their hotel rooms, like, where there's actually AC? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And apparently this is the only guy who see. Oh, no. Now that we all see. Uh, these people are spending way too much time standing and gawking instead of getting to shelter. Although it should be said that there's no way these Tyrandons would do anything to these people because they couldn't actually kill them or pick them up. People weigh too dang much. There's no way a dinosaur could pick. Yeah, there they go. The guy holding the two martinis and not dropping them, the real hero of the movie. <laughs> he's holding two martinis and he doesn't drop them or anything and he's running from dinosaurs. Uh, why don't these people just like get underneath the sh get inside the buildings? No, people are actually running out of buildings. Yeah, people. Yeah, get inside where they can't. In my, like, granted, like I said, the Tyrandons would actually not do anything because they they can't pick you up. You're too big. Yeah, and here this one Tyrandon can barely pick up a baby Therese Tyrannosaurus. Uh, uh, not happening. This movie's so ridiculous. Yeah. And here, oh, he took a Trank gun instead of using the one gun he has on his back. <laughs> I'm just hoping that we don't see a scene of them of it where he doesn't have the gun. <laughs> and this part here, this guy's full on evil because he can watch this and he's not upset. It's like people are dying and he's just, yeah, I get my shot. <laughs> Again, everybody, get underneath, get to... Sh oh, there's a bookstore. Why is there a bookstore at a theme park? Um, for the readers? I'm, yeah, you gotta have some books about dinosaurs. For you know, she said, don't just stand there while she's sitting there. It's just standing there. And yeah, this, this poor girl gets the worst death. Yeah. That would hurt. Like I said, I jumped into water. I think I said, I think it was 30 feet. Or it could have been 40 feet. I don't remember how high it was, but it hurt like hell when I hit the water. She hit the water from probably 50 feet, and yeah. Yeah. She's just, this is just prolonged torture until Mosasaur. Okay. And uh, me being a real quick dinosaur nerd, if you actually look inside the Mosasaur mouth, you can see a second row of teeth. Actually a thing. The, di the Mosasaurus had its teeth on the outside and a second red of so teeth inside its mouth. She's running pretty good in those heels. I'll give her yeah. that. Yeah. And here we get the whole the rough form of firing line. And she gets on top of things and is not attacked by dinosaurs.
These apparently, these tranquilizer darts are apparently super fast working considering you knocked them out so quickly. Yeah, and see, yeah, he gets attacked. Where were the, all the other guys with guns? They just disappeared. And it stops. And remember, like I said, there's like, oh, yeah, he's going to show, do a shot of like, oh, the thing comes and stops directly in front of their face. Uh, you don't, they're very much a callback to other movies, but it doesn't work. And how'd she get the gun? He dropped yeah. it whenever where he were, got attacked. Where were all the other guys with the guns that were standing there? I don't there? know. And they apparently have a Lego sword. Like her hair just now is suddenly. This part here makes absolutely no sense. Because I'm going to start. Uh, he's feeling the heat of just being saved. Yeah, and in the background, like I said, a Lego store just in the background. I don't know. <laughs> I like how her hair's curled. I think they're trying to make it look like the humidity's gotten to a perfectly strained hair, but her hair is now perfectly curled with a curling iron. Like her makeup team is really sucking at their yeah. job. Well, I was going to say her makeup is extraordinary considering everything. <laughs> like, she's got perfect beach waves going on right now. That's not <laughs> what your hair looks like after running around. <laughs> we need to do a fashion movie. Like, uh, like uh, uh, what's that? Um, Miss Congeniality, just so you can go off on the fashion. <laughs> There's not much oh, fashion. I'm just saying. They... Like, her hair's been dead straight this whole time. So, like, yeah, running around in humid weather is going to make it frizz. But to show yeah. it frizzing, they just curled it. Like Instead of actually was... having it be... Yeah. <laughs> like well, I mean, that's another thing that... Always... Yeah. Although that's another thing that always gets me about... Oh, and there's one Demetrodon, and this guy just shoots it out of the air because he's an asshole. Uh, it's a dinosaur on the loose. They all need to be shot at this point. I don't yeah, blame him. Although the question is, they told they said they have the implants in the all the dinosaurs that would shock them if they got out of containment. A lot of dinosaurs are out of containment right now, and none of them are being shocked. Yeah, what do you mean, you after this? Uh, yeah, he's pissed. Uh, get, take the kids and get them on to one of the boats. How are they not evacuating? This part here. The, yeah, the, they just break through the door and no one ever thought to get, no one thought to get in. Whoa, whoa, that guy was just wearing his towel. I swear to God. I swear to God, there was just a guy wearing a towel. Maybe he was at the pool whenever the stuff started happening. And so he just grabbed Maybe, maybe. Uh, no, here's what, <laughs> here, yeah, here. No, you're not staying with him. We're getting you on a cruise ship and getting you the fuck out of here. I can understand maybe Claire staying there, but there's no way the kids are staying there. No, the kids are on a cruise ship now and getting out. Considering it was daytime earlier and now it's night. Yeah, they're on the boat and leaving, but no, apparently they're still there because. Yeah, he's pissed. Or she's pissed, I should say. I don't know which one that is. Uh, Delta. <laughs> yeah, okay, now you're just teasing her. Now she's pissed off. I know each of the, I know their I know each of their names, but I don't know which one's which. All I know is blue has the blue stripe because yeah, I'm, blues, yeah. I can't tell Charlie and Delta apart. Yeah, they I think they should have had like maybe Charlie had spots, maybe Delta had like stripes down, you know, make them visually separable. Even though they are gonna just die here in about thirty minutes, the mother head, bam! Thank you. You want? Yeah, he he clearly wanted the dinosaurs to escape and kill everybody. The problem is the way he's acting. Yes, he did. Oh, engine. Yeah. How are cruise ships not there yet? Not there already. Well, I mean, here's the worst part. If you actually watch Camp Cretaceous, there's the cruise ships are there at this time, and people are being evacuated at this time. Let's move out. This is happening. See. With or without you. 
Then do it without me and you're going to die. Have fun. Yeah, that's, exactly Bye. Bye. Yeah. that's exactly what I would say. I'd be like, okay, you do it without me. I'm going to the cruise ship. Bye. When you all die, don't. I'm not going to send postcards to your families. Yeah, we've seen that done on like wolves. Again, it's like oh Malcolm. man, when he meets Malcolm or Ian Malcolm, they're gonna have so much fun because they're both gonna just talk about how Velociraptors like to hunt, and Ian's just gonna be like, "Yeah, I've been on the receiving end of that a few times." <laughs> you mean Sam Neil or <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. All of them. This fair point. enough. Fair enough. <laughs> But again, these the kids the kids would no way the kids would still be here. The kids would be on the cruise ship already. Him, maybe I could see being there because he's kind of like the raptor candler, Cody Cody. Or as you put as so eloquently put it, the dinosaur whisperer. But there's no way the kids would be there. And Claire herself, maybe, but I doubt it. Again, I think she'd be like How if she has were gonna Claire be there, I think she'd be in the control. Not side. gotten a good pair of tennis shoes or boots at this point. No idea. And how is her hair still so perfect? And how is her makeup still so perfect? It's a good spray, setting spray she's got on. But her hair is, I mean. Yeah. I'm going to be just to that window. Her hair does screen. look a bit more frizzy now than it did earlier. Earlier, it was just straight up nice curls. I like having this short hair that I don't have to worry about. <laughs> yeah. I got mine I'm cut. I'm to actually so lose it up work. here. So. I mean, it happens to mm -hmm. guys. I know. It doesn't bother me that much because nine times out of ten, I'm wearing a hat anyway, so. Something's not right. No. Yeah. Uh, so, so uh, I'm totally totally no. going to get in there. Yeah. We're going to full, full on get our whole, you remember the ghost era, we're going to get our whole heartfelt scene between the two brothers, even though, like I said, they should actually be on the cruise ship by now. You made a battle axe out of a paper plate and a ruler. <laughs> to be fair, I was the kid who did that. <laughs> I'm here now. Yep. The brothers. Okay. All right. Yeah. The brothers, man. Always come back. Yeah, it'll be one and Anakin. We're gonna be in the next one. <laughs> you were my brother, Anakin. <laughs> I love. That's what that means. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a shot of the high ground here too. We should just do all the memes. Although that does worry me if we ever do the Lord of the Rings because we're just going to be quoting memes the entire time. Dude. No. Just the, yeah. I mean, songs. I could sing the songs. The mean songs. Yeah. Anyway. Thank Jurassic you, Hobbit, Jurassic Park. Park. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, they have this one kid who was just the new guy. Yeah, he gets to be the one who hits the button because reasons. Uh because he's the only one who's still around. Apparently. Everybody else went home. They're like, fuck. There were, this. there were still dozens of people all standing around there, but no, it's it's just him. Mm -hmm. These dinosaurs are especially nimble. The velociraptors. That's what yeah. they do. Echo. Again, wouldn't Claire be in the control center, not just in some random van? You would think so. <clears throat> yeah. Although this part coming up here is one that kind of gets because they showed this shot. They showed this shot in the trailer and people were like, oh, he's driving his motorcycle around dinosaurs. And people, are, and no one ever thought, okay, well, he's clearly with the Raptors because if this were, act, they're either with the Raptors or they're running from something because there's no way the Raptors would not attack him if he were not. So. I don't remember how, how fast we thought Raptors were. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she had a sly smile of like, oh yeah, she is my boyfriend. He's on ATV. It's a much wiser choice for this terrain. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, it is. It would be better versus the motorcycle he's on. And here, he he's so weird. I just he the only thing he doesn't have number one is a trolley mustache and popcorn. He just stole that dude's. Yeah, he soda. just stole the dude's drink. Who who takes a soda and just starts drinking from someone else's straw? Yeah, yeah no doubt. Like I like can I see taking an unopened can. Yeah, if it were an unopened can, or even an unopened bottle, or even like a two-liter bottle, and him pouring like a cup, then maybe. But yeah, I don't think he just grabs this, taking this sip from a straw. Yeah, that's weird. Now, there's a real quick. I do want to point out there is a fan theory here about how the how about how the Raptors never actually betray Owen; they just kill everybody else. It kind of makes sense because we see Owen just constantly fighting Hoskins the entire movie. So maybe the Raptors are like, oh, all the other people are bad except for Owen. Or no, Owen and his uh, little buddy there who's not named. Uh, why is no one shooting? They have clear shots. Why is no one shooting? No I one shooting. Yeah. They can clearly shoot the thing, and the Raptors are not blocking the shot in any way. I think what should have happened, because, yeah, they could all open fire and hit it without problem, but they're not firing. What I think should have been is, like, maybe it, maybe it should still be, like, hiding behind trees with only its nose sticking out. Then maybe. But like I said, right now, they all have a clear shot of it, and none of them are taking it. Uh, also, I don't think it could understand what the raptors say. Remember, it's been in the cage its entire life and never interacted with the raptors. Yeah. And there's... there. Yeah. And yeah, it's bulletproof, because clearly they all get clear shots at it. They all hit it, but it doesn't die. And the one guy with the rocket launcher misses. Yeah. Ouch. Don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah. I don't buy that it managed to convince the Raptors to turn on everybody. New alpha. Yeah. Although, is it that they have a new alpha, or is it that where they're looking back you for directions? Because, like I said, they've only ever seen you fighting people. No, they got a new Raptor. No, they got a new alpha. Yeah, that's what they say. Like I said, I kind of, I kind of like the the fan theory better of that it's they still like Owen. They just that's all they've seen this entire movie is him fighting other people. Oh, he gets fucked. <laughs> Apparently, these people have because we see them getting attacked head on and they can't hit anything. They're uh, they obviously went to the same school of target practice as stormtroopers. Thank you. I was literally about to say the exact same thing. Yeah, uh, your idea didn't work, and now he's going to – yeah, his move right there. Okay, is that Zeus or Knives? This is Percy. Percy. Ah! One day I will recognize your cat. whole movie. (laughs) One day I will recognize your cat, but I don't know which one's which yet. No. Yeah, but see, that's kind of why I – oh, gosh. that Yeah, if you got – if you were that close to a a rocket has exploded, you're not surviving. You're dead. I was going to say, even in video games, my shields are usually down and I'm almost dead at that point. Yeah. But that's kind of where I say that maybe the idea, the theory I heard is actually true. Because the dinosaur stood there looking at Owen for at least 10 seconds and did nothing. Yeah, and here's another reason. Okay, This blue here knows that there's a guy in there, but it doesn't know who. But when he but when he shouts blue and she looks, she stops attacking. No, see, and she says blue and she just I stops. Did and looks. Drop at her name, yeah. yeah. So that's where I think that's kind of where I think maybe that fan theory is true of these dinosaurs act they still like Owen and, and Owen and him because like like I said, it you know, the other dinosaur, I think that was supposed to be Echo, I could be wrong just stood there looking at Owen and didn't attack him, had no aggressive inclination at all. And then there, where he actually called Blue, she stopped and looked and stopped. And, you know, she stopped. Yeah. And here, we get a whole bloody, yeah, like I said, he's this, it's uh, Colin Trevorrow 
being like, oh, I can be a horror movie director. And I'm sorry, it doesn't come off as horror movie. This is just too damn cheesy. I think he just pulled out. Like I said, this is not, this is not scary. Bam. Yep. And there's blue. Ouch. Well, maybe that's not blue because blue's supposed to have the thing on her back. I don't know. Yeah, here. Uh, go and just close the doors. Just close the doors. That's all you need to do. No, this is more fun. Yeah, we're going to chuck CO2 cans at it. You're lucky the CO2 can and tank out, take off like a rocket when it, that, it happens. And uh, yeah. If you actually swerved in your truck like that with kid people standing in the background, they'd be falling over. Oh, don't worry. I got a taser, boy. Yeah. Apparently, the dinosaur can't climb in, but ouch. Uh, it lost his head thingy. The raptor bones were basically were very much hollow. They're very delicate. I don't think a raptor doing that would actually not have broke. It would have a broken bone falling out of a truck. Yeah. Yeah. Again, close the doors, you idiot kids. We got to get indoors. How come you guys aren't going back to the cruise ships now? What are we having their way? Call in a chopper. How come you guys don't have like just loads of choppers coming in at this point? I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, there are cruise ships apparently right now. I think they'd also have helicopters ferrying people out. Gr granted, I'm not sure how far, how far did they say it was from the mainland? Well, we saw a chopper flying in earlier, so clearly it's within helicopter distance. Yeah, this part is going to be chapter 11 by the morning. I don't want lawyers messing around with something they don't understand. Well, you spent the entire movie harassing around with things you don't understand, so screw you. I just like how Wu's like, again. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And all these people have been screwed up. Is that Alan Tudyk? I don't know. One guy looked like Alan Tudyk, and it would make sense because Alan Tudyk is like an every damn thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up. Maybe I don't. I doubt it was because I'm pretty sure I would have found out by now. Yeah, they're, we're evacuating. We're going to the boat. Um, but yeah, Lowry's gonna stay there because someone has to stay behind and do what? It was not Alan Tudyk, unfortunately. It was just some random extra. I really wish it was still. <laughs> yeah. This part here Matt, is just a little too crazy. I didn't realize you were like together, together. Yeah. Yeah. That's what a boyfriend is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They don't that's worry. Awesome. They're still going to hug. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to be okay? No, he's not. He's literally sacrificing himself to stay here and work the damn thing. Because I there's no one, no one else is going to come for him. I don't think you would be able to have a conversation with the helicopter while we're going right there. I don't know. That'd be very loud. It would be very loud. <clears throat> don't forget to visit our gift shop as you die. <laughs> it's always happy hour at Margaritaville. Okay, they have the ad still playing on the damn intercom. Seriously? Yeah. It's all, yeah. But everybody's gone now. Everybody got evacuated in like record time, considering they were all there earlier. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Why aren't you going to the freaking cruise ships? They evacuated the lab. No, really, you think? And here he goes full on. Uh, oh gosh, um, 
Uh, who's the director of uh, Aliens? Uh, Ridley. Yeah, he goes full on. Uh, yeah, he goes full. Yeah, well, just these shots of them looking at the stuff in the cave. Yeah, full on Ridley Scott. Yeah. Ridley Scott did the first one. James Cameron did the second one, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aliens. Yeah, sorry. Because Alien was Ridley Scott. Aliens was James Cameron. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, my bad. But yeah, he, like I said, with those shots of them looking in the cage is very much alien inspired. So, yeah, like I said, the, Colin Trevorrow's entire thing is basically looking at, like, oh, Ridley Scott can do this? I can do better. Or James Cameron can do this? I can do better. And that's pretty much everything he ever does. Uh-oh. Granted, when we get to, if we ever do Lord of the Rings, I have plenty of things I can say about Peter Jackson, too. Aside from the most advanced military technology, I'm living with on yeah, this this is this is a clearly a point that of that worked so well right now when we just tried that. Yeah. yeah, you literally just tried it with the Raptors. It didn't work, but it'll clearly work for the Indominus Rex. Hello. And there, the Raptor could clearly see Owen and it do, it just completely ignores him and goes after this guy. Which does make sense. Fuck him up. Get him. Fuck him up. Yeah, we're on the same side. Uh no, you're not. And now you're going to get your comeuppance, and it's going to be funny. Just eat them. Fuck them up. Do it. I think that's Charlie. I could be wrong. It's. I just know it's not blue. Ouch! <laughs> Grab more. Yes! Splatter. Yeah, and the blood splatter again. This is the only part where maybe, because like I said, now it's a little bit... Although, how is it not able to keep up with them? Although, at least Gray is smart enough to hit the damn thing. Yeah, it just jumps. It's like, oh, you're clearly an animal. I can yeah, jump. Nope. Yeah. But this is where the theory comes from because all these dinosaurs, they all have, they have them cornered right now. And like I mentioned before, when di- when animals have you cornered, they don't just stop and stare. They attack. They don't mug. They attack. And notice, none of them are attacking. They're all just looking at them. Yeah, and see, and look, even blue right here doesn't is not really reacting with any sort of anger. I mean, okay, yeah, it's kind of snarling, but yeah, we saw it doing that earlier, so... Why are you doing this, I wonder? What's this going to... Yeah, taking off. Oh, yeah. One of them already lost theirs. Or they, all they, lost they showed them getting it knocked off and they were attacking the truck. Pick up your gun, dude. Oh, wait. wait. They showed him putting the gun down, but he has it in his hand. He didn't pick it up. Okay. Oh, well, now he doesn't have it in his hand anymore. Yeah, continuity. Uh, continuity not working out here. Of that messed up a bit there, yeah. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, uh, if that actually happened, that dinosaur is broken Is broken its spine. Because like I said, raptor bones are pretty well hollow. Yeah, they're pissed. You heard our sister, fuck you. Attack! I don't think they would attack the same side. Yeah. Yeah, and here, he's shooting it with a gun, and it apparently is doing nothing. And they have a full on uh, di- oh, a mosquito in amber statue because reasons. Ouch. Yeah. 2450. I think you need a bigger gun. We need more teeth. And yeah, she's like, oh, I know what to do. And again, notice Spinosaurus skeleton in the background. Just keep that in mind. I want that to be everybody know. Just wait here. Stay hidden. Again, why are they still there and not on the cruise ships? I don't know. Ouch. His bullets are apparently useless. Ouch. Yeah, one dinosaur got killed. How, how did it just blow up 
by landing yeah. on. Yeah, and those those two raptors are apparently decided to just die because they stopped attacking it just so it could, they could get attacked. Because one kind of fell off its back, even though the even though it wasn't doing anything to throw it off its back, it just kind of fell, and the other one was literally just standing there. Yeah, uh, why is he still there though? I think they would have evacuated every damn thing. He la he stayed behind. He purposely remember he's like, no, somebody's gonna stay here. Wouldn't wouldn't they have a backup system to do that outside of there? But I don't know. I but don't yeah, know. like I said, granted it does. He but yeah. said that's why he he told that other girl, he's like, No, I'm gonna stay behind. Someone's gotta stay behind. Yeah, he's sacrificing himself and yeah, I'm gonna open up the paddock. To what did he open the paddock to? Uh, everybody the who knows rats. the movies knows. Yeah. Even though, I mean, they, like I said, it's like, okay, I'm going to be very secretive. Oh, what's in this paddock? Who, who knows? Everybody knows it's a T-Rex. They used the flare for the goat earlier. Yep. Hello, Rexy. And again, the CGI just does not, I don't know. Rawr. How come it didn't eat you? It definitely should have eaten her. She should have like started running as soon as like yeah, here. it can grab the pack and the pack not immediately rip off. I'm pretty sure the pack would have just ripped. Uh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah, she's running in heels, mind you, running in heels. I don't I know how she hasn't kicked those off. Yeah, but here, remember how I said that was a spinosaurus skeleton? So we get the whole breaking through the spinosaurus skeleton. That was, yeah. Run. That's weird. Don't be standing next to the T-Rex foot. Run. Yeah, this part here. If the T-Rex got its jaws around its neck like that, it's dead. The T-Rex wouldn't just get its jaws around and let go. It would get its jaws around and bite as hard as it could and kill it. I thought the Indominus Rex was bigger than the T-Rex. It was yet. supposed to be, but apparently no, they're the same size. Oh, it did, it's not fully grown yet, maybe? No, yeah. it's not. Does she break her foot? Yeah, that's what happens when you try running in heels, I guess. Yeah, apparently. But yeah, the T-Rex is getting, it's getting completely screwed up. I don't think that would think would be strong enough to do that, though. But like I said, yeah, and here, if the I'm pretty sure the Indominus Rex, if it had its jaws around the thing's neck, it wouldn't just let go. It would bite down as hard as it could. Yeah. And yeah, oh, Rexy's going to die now. Oh, yeah, because clearly. But oh, no. It's Blue who somehow miraculously survived being swatted into concrete. This is part of the movie. This is it's a really cool fight scene, but it makes absolutely zero sense. <laughs> Roar! They see because here we see Blue jumping onto the T Rex's back, and then jumping like jumping onto T Rex to get a better attack angle. It's no. like Yoda at the end of uh, the second Star episode two, just you know hopping around attacking. <laughs> For funsies. That would make sense. Yeah, it makes sense that it would be jumping around and try attacking, but it doesn't make sense that it would jump onto the T-Rex's back and then try to get a better attack angle. Then here, watch this part. Just just completely wee <laughs> flies away. Yeah. I don't think this would actually happen too. Okay, we get our whole oh, we're a corner, and then the Mosasaurus jumps out of the water to take it. If it if the Mosasaurus had like jumped up and grabbed the thing's tail and then pulled it in, I could buy. If the Mosasaurus was capable of jumping out and eating yeah. things like that this entire time, sort of. yeah. how have people not died earlier? I don't know. I don't we know. by the way, we drop we drop stream for like thirty like ten seconds there. It didn't even close. I think we're good, but yeah, we're good. I think so. Look, now the T Rex and uh, Blue are giving each other like a mental high five. Yeah. Good, good yeah. job, team. 
Good job. Yeah. It's just like, okay, we got respect. We good. <laughs> I don't think that happens. Yeah, That's here. okay. I'm still trying to figure out how the Mosasaurus has not eaten people in the park up until yeah. this point. Yeah, if, like I said, if the Mosasaurus could jump out of the water like that, why hasn't it done it to people? Like I said, if it had jumped up, grabbed the tail of the Indominus Rex, and then pulled it in, I could buy that. But I don't buy it jumping out of the pool and taking them like that. Also, a real quick thing I kind of wanted to mention, but I didn't bring up, is if you actually look at the how the raptors are running, I don't like it because it's basically their body is floating with the legs going down every so often. And I don't like it. Because it, if it's, it should be kind of, you know, when things run, they kind of have a bounce to them. Those raptors are just very much, they're just basically hovering, and you just see the legs go down. Way yeah. too many people survived this movie, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, but Lowry's dead because there's no way he could escape the control center. Lowry's fine. He just walked out. But how's he going to get away? There's no way. There's not going to go evacuate him. So he has to somehow. He's going out with the other people. He's leaving with everybody else who's still stuck on the island. No one else was stuck on the island, though. What's her face? Owen and the two kids were still on the island. It's not like Lowry was in some bunker that was locked on the outside that he can't get out of. He was on a completely separate part, though, because we saw that the control center is on very far away from where they were. So what, the helicopter go in, pick them up, and then go pick the, the him up? I, or he could just walk to where everybody else is because the danger is gone now. There are a lot of dinosaurs, and Blue would probably eat him too. I don't think the danger has gone. <laughs> they could totally send a helicopter over to get him. It's not like he's on another continent. He's just a couple miles. He's not that far. I know. I just like I said with everything they He's have not saying like on a sinking ship. <laughs> I'm saying with the how they set the scene up, it's very much I'm doing I'm sacrificing myself to save everybody. That's how they're setting the scene up. But he's that's what I mean. Like he lived. A lot of people actually survived this movie compared to the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, the dinosaurs were a lot more deadly in the first one, even though it makes no sense how they were more deadly because everybody was so amazingly stupid in the first than the other ones. So what do we do now? Uh, well, you're screwed because you're getting sued out the wazoo because you were like the, what, the director of the park, the CEO? Yeah, yeah. you're done. I wouldn't be surprised if you went to prison, honestly. Because like I said, wasn't she like the director of the park? She was something. Yeah, she's probably in prison because of all the people who died. And oh yeah, we're gonna have our full heartfelt scene of oh look, T Rex standing on top of the control center and doing its whole majestic roar, very Lion King esque. And she got well. Oh, look at all those scars. She got fucked up good. Like I said, very long. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. What up? My cat just tried to climb my leg. It didn't quite work out too well. I just heard you. St I almost sounded like you were in pain. So that's why I was like, what are you? I okay? was. My cat tried to climb my well, yeah, leg. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if it climbed yeah. up your leg, the claws are. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. I'm pretty sure. You're, I don't know if your cats were declawed or not, but yeah, that would hurt. <laughs> but yeah, so that was Jurassic World, everybody. Like I said, it's not as bad as the other two, as a two and three, but it's still not a good movie. But it's the whole, it's still just so stupid how everything yeah. happens, like opening the door and not having like double systems and mm -hmm. like her leaving before calling the tower to activate the tracker rather than just calling from the room at the paddock. Like why the paddock doesn't have just a single landline to the facility. <laughs> Or why doesn't the paddock have access to the tracker on the dinosaur to begin with that's supposed yeah. to be in there? No doubt. But yeah, How are there not alarms that go off whenever the tracker crosses like the paddock lines? Like Well, just... there are so many there are so many basic uh like even that zoos would do. Like a zoo has would either have like a big moat separating you from the animals or like have you on a set like be like here at the bar at the zoo here, the bears. They have it that you are standing. When you look at the bears, you're standing on a different level. You are up like ten right. feet, twenty feet above them, looking down, and they can't climb up, you know, a cliff wall like that. 
Right. So why don't they have system? Why don't they have stuff like that where it's literally separating them instead of yeah, just right. they should have built more they... into the area rather than just build walls around where they're going to put it. Yeah. It was yeah. not thought through very well. Yeah. Well, I mean, we saw that the Indominus Rex could break through the door without a problem. How come it didn't break through already? But yeah, like, like there are exactly. so many, none of this makes, and I mean, none of what, none of the um protection measures they took make any sense because oh we have these things that will electrocute them if they go outside the place uh why, okay that yeah that's number one cool but i think you'd actually have others like like you said have backup systems in case those went out mr dna was colin trevorrow oh dude you got way too much hype on your head so yeah but like i said most of this movie is actually okay but except for the part because like i said Colin Trevorrow is, has this entire thing of like, he looks at other directors and goes, I can do that. And he can't, he can't, he's very. No. Yeah. Everything was just kind of weak. Like the whole reveal of the dinosaur was weak. The Bryce Dallas, uh, what's her face? Howard, Bryce Howard, Dallas Howard. Bryce Howard Dallas's character was just weird. Like she takes off her coat and ties it around her waist. She's like, Oh, I'm ready for action yeah. now. No, you're not like, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, seriously, with the way she did said. that, with the way she did that, you almost expect her to rip her shirt off and have a Superman logo. Yeah, like she did it in such like a cocky attitude. Like she was just like, I don't know, her character was just weird. Yeah. Like I don't know what they were trying to do with it, but I don't think they quite got it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it's it's hard to know if they quite got it because they don't think they had a direction for what they were trying to do with her. That's a that's fair too well, honestly. it's like where because i mean because that's the thing it's like okay how do we know if we got to the point if we don't know where the hell we're going yeah so and then like you said she doesn't have a clear direction so we have no idea and i i mean like she Chris, starts off the movie like not really liking her nephews and like yeah. you don't really see them bond or connect all that well throughout mm -hmm. it and like she doesn't really have like and then at the end like she just goes up to Owen's like all right what do we do now it's like you he kissed you after you saved his life because that was pure adrenaline. That kiss meant yeah, nothing. Like there was no sexual tension between you guys at, at any all. point in this movie. Yeah. Like I didn't think you were a couple. Like I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. No, that's that's what I understand. I did there was no tension, there was no chemistry at all between those two at all. And that's the th that's the other thing of when they did the second movie, they tried to expand on that, but again, they have no sexual tension, they have no chemistry at all. No. And even in the other one. Um, before we, but yeah, before we close out, I am going to mention we're not going to do the Fallen Kingdom again because we did already do that. So, yeah. I'll what I'll probably do is I'll probably just recopy it, just link in, so that way everybody can watch that without having to relook it up like I did, because that was fun having to go back through all the thing and then reading all that code to download it. <laughs> I seriously spent two hours reading code to download that thing. It was not fun. Oh, fine. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah. But, like, hey, I got it downloaded onto my laptop now, so I can share it now. Yay! Yay! So, yeah, I'll upload that. I'm going to upload that to YouTube. What I'm do what I'm literally waiting for us to do is to, well, now that we've done all these, I'm going to upload all the Jurassic World movies in order. So, okay. I'm to YouTube, obviously. So, yeah. Finally, Jurassic Park is done. Final thoughts until the last uh, one, out, which we'll probably have to do too sometime. Yeah. So I don't know. The The first one's definitely the best. It's definitely the scariest. Mm -hmm. It definitely just, it just does everything so well. The music hits at all the right moments that really make you go, wow. You know, like revealing the dinosaurs when that epic music starts, it just really like helps bring everything in. And then the reveal of the T-Rex getting out, the, pond water rippling like yeah. they just do so well setting up the suspense and just like i don't know it's just it's so fun to watch even though it scares the crap out of me this movie had none of that obviously yeah. we talked about that this movie the reveal is was crap it's because it, even after it revealed the dinosaur it kept trying to like hide it as yeah. if like it was gonna do something and it just never did and they didn't yeah. do like the fun little water thing like they didn't build suspense at all it was just like Oh God, the dinosaur's still in there with you guys. And they're like, oh no, we have to run. And then he's eating people. Like there was nothing. There was no suspense at all. It was just very much. I mean, granted, this is kind of this kind of, this movie almost feels a lot like um 
The Force Awakens did in that instead of doing something new and original, they just remake the original and think that's good. And it's not, it does but not. Like, and like, I get why they did it and like how they did it. And, and I just feel like they could have, I guess, touched more upon why they thought, because like, obviously you're watching this and they acknowledge the first park existed, right? And they know people mm -hmm. died in the first park. Do so you think they could have taken a couple minutes to explain Yes, that park was tragic. This is why it can't happen here. Go through extra safety measures. But obviously they didn't have extra, like it was, they learned nothing from the first movie. Yeah. And that's what makes this one so dumb mm -hmm. is that they acknowledged the first one existed. They acknowledged it has failures, but didn't act like they learned from it at all. And it's just like, then why did you think this was a good idea? No doubt. And also, I do need to point this out real quick. When this movie came out, I thought what we were going to do is that the Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 were completely non-canon anymore because the, there's one big thing that doesn't make any sense. If the incident, in, if they, if the sec, if Lost World were canon and the incident in San Diego happened, the, di the dinosaur park should be a complete sanctuary. There'd be no way you could actually go in and actually make a park anymore they'd be a sanctuary for the for the animals but it's still they somehow and that's what i mean is maybe they either completely ignored the fact that those two movies happened which i think is kind of a shame or you acknowledge the fact that this island was a sanctuary yeah. or hammond's thing failed because right it is still in gen and yeah. they did kind of like end the second movie with how they wanted it to be a sanctuary, but like Engine had sent people in to get the dinosaurs still, which is what caused everything. Like yeah. they could have just explained how we got from that there to here instead of just yes. being like, this shouldn't have been possible mm -hmm. given how the other movies left off. But yeah. Like that, what are you, you nailed it right on the head there with that. It should doesn't make sense how we got from point A to point B, but we're at point C now. Yeah. So, but yeah, and I, but yeah, the part that got the part where I said stop is it said have yourself a merry little Christmas. Are you flipping serious? Is this a Christmas movie that no one knows about? It may have come out on Christmas. I don't think it did. What what time? Did, when did this come out? I don't remember. Oh, it's not gonna it's not gonna pull it up because if I probably pull it up, it's just gonna pull up the last one saying, "Oh yeah, this comes out in two days or what? What is it? A week from now? Five days? Whatever." So, anyway. 2015 was when this one came out. Do you have a day? Can you find um, a day? June 12th, 2015. We so could no, have waited a week and got it nailed. Had, we could have waited. Oh, you wouldn't have been here, I guess. I'm not going to be here. Damn. Yeah. Had we waited a week, we could have done it right on the anniversary. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, the, the next one comes out this next week. The like they yeah, obviously the they've bit. all come out at the same week every year. Mm -hmm. So I guess they're trying to make June Jurassic Park month because May is already Star Wars month. Yeah. Here's the kicker: Star Wars had three really good movies to make to actually become a thing. Jurassic Park had one. You're not going to make Jurassic Park month a thing because, like I said, there's only been one really good thing to come out of Jurassic Park and everything else is just milking off it. And unfortunately, the cow is now dead because you've been milking it so much. So, and yet people are still, I'm sure this yet they're still movie trying to do it. Still cool yeah, dinosaurs are cool. Oh, I... I love dinosaurs. You don't have to sell me on dinosaurs. The problem is the movies are shit. So Yeah, but you're going to keep going to them hoping that it's going to be a good dinosaur movie finally. If you want to make it a good dinosaur movie, here's what you do. Hire competent writers. Nah, so, that will never happen. Yeah, unfortunately, no. Because that's the thing. Unfortunately, Hollywood doesn't hire competent writers. They hire idiots who don't know what the hell they're doing. So yep. anyway. So thank you, everybody, for watching. We will not be here next week. Um, well, okay, I might. Marie will not be. So I won't be. Yeah. We will see what happens. I don't know if I will make a Star Trek. We will see. So everybody have a great night. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.